Captain Rob Smith with Boatest.com. I'm on the Sea Ranger 50. This is a technological cruiser. By that I mean they've taken years of design and experience and put in technology and luxury for the 21st century. Let's take a close look. Sea Ranger's modified semi-displacement hull is set to deliver speeds up to the high 20s while still having a 16-foot beam that is friendly in guest anchorages. This design is built for extended cruising and for coastal cruising with a relatively shallow draft of just over 3 feet. Views from the flying bridge are great forward and aft. Notice the generous use of teak decking on board. Your guests have plenty of room to enjoy the view topside as you cruise to your next destination. The inside really gives you a lot of room and a lot of open feeling. Here at the helm, I have plenty of room. Even when I stand up, I have overhead room because they've changed the angle of the roof. The galley itself is open out to everybody. Everybody likes to hang around in the kitchen. This way, you're all together. The interior is as comfortable and elegant as a living room in your home. The helm is well laid out with good views all around, front and sides. The central stairs to the accommodations lifts on electric ramps to reveal crawl-in access to the engineering spaces. You have more room to work on the engineering spaces through the salon floor. Accommodations are roomy for a yacht of this size, certainly comfortable for an extended cruise. Forward and aft accommodations have associated full heads. The forward shower actually can incorporate a washer-dryer. The Sea Ranger 50 is designed to be comfortable in all conditions, delivering a dry ride with little roll and claims to be comfortable even in a quartering sea. Sea Ranger also says the 50 can cruise over 800 miles, cruising at 8 knots, leaving a 10% reserve.